Hi everyone, uh, my name is Diran Tal, I'm a developer advocate at SNCC. I'm also heavily involved uh, with the security working group for the Node Foundation. So trying to do some processes and triaging to help security NPM ecosystem and Node.js as well. Um, so this conference has been really great in terms of, you know, just meeting people, getting together, uh, getting stuff done as well. The collaborators tell me that we're looking forward to in the next couple of days. And a couple of things, or maybe like three things that I wanted to like update you on what's been going on with the Node Security Working Group. So first off, uh, one thing that we have been uh, as, uh, kind of like uh, communicating a lot is we actually received funding for the Node Working Group in terms of uh, our ability to like work with HackerOne and then uh, reward security researchers on any bug bounties you know, that they've been submitting. Uh, so this is something that has been rolling out actually pretty recently. Uh, we've been able to like get a criteria for which models would be eligible to get the bounties for, and uh, this way trying to like get more awareness and more security researchers happening, uh, getting involved within the, uh, uh, the security space for Node and NPM itself. Uh, so this is really good, uh, something that's really recently going on and really good for us as an ecosystem. Um, interesting point of that, we're trying to see if we can maybe uh, divert some of those funds to maintainers as well that will participate. So like we're kind of trying to like pay both parties in terms of driving uh, some motivation around uh, not just reporting issues, but also like supporting it, uh, uh, like the maintainers who spend time fixing it. So it's a really important part that we're going to see with HackerOne, how are we going to be able to uh, roll this out as well. Um, another update on the working group itself is since this whole OpenJS uh, Foundation thing have been uh, uh, going on uh, pretty strong together, a great you know message I think for the whole JavaScript ecosystem. Uh, we're trying to see how we are able to get some uh, responsible disclosure guidelines set up, not just for the Node Foundation, but also for the uh, entire like uh, uh, cross project council uh, in terms of like the whole OpenJS Foundation, the whole uh, 30 projects that we have in. So how do we like make those uh, standards uh, work for everyone as well? Uh, uh, and not just be a, a particular part of the node uh, as part of it. Uh, so this is uh, something that Marcin from the working group has been going to like send off a draft and you know make this work. If you want to get involved, have any opinions, uh, want to help out, uh, just jump onto uh, github.com slash node uh, js slash security dash wg and uh, just find us on the HTQ. We'll be happy to get uh, some external eyes on this as well. Uh, and generally, if you wanna just get involved and see what's going on, everything is very transparent, uh, just hop on the repository. Uh, Readme is, you know, pretty, I think, clear and helpful. So, you know, just, just ping us there. Uh, maybe the last update would be around um, kind of like a challenging thing that we have been uh, kind of been, been raised recently is uh, we have some issues in terms of how do we handle large scale uh, disclosures? So what we've been seeing, not a whole lot, but it has been happening a couple of times at least, is security researchers, mostly from academia, have been doing a whole lot of uh, security research around like uh, regular denial, uh, uh, regular expression denial of service, and uh, other kind of uh, like patch reversals, kind of the vulnerabilities, like different kind of classes. But have been able to like dis uh, find those and disclose those issues across like hundreds of projects or like NPM modules. So how do we, as the Node Security Working Group, are able to handle those disclosures at large at scale? Because each of those kind of map into. Uh, one or two, you know, uh, uh, reports that we have to do. Uh, so, like ha having hundreds of them, it means also hundreds of like an H1 report that we have to uh, roll out. Uh, it has been uh, an interesting discussion there. So, as well, if you want to jump in and see if you want to uh, just help out or you know uh, flesh out some of the uh, interesting areas to kind of take action on, uh, that's also something that we've been uh, uh, doubling with recently. So uh, that's it for me. Uh, hoping to uh, catch up with you uh, on social media or on the Node.js repo. Bye bye.